this is Gina. Welcome back to Tight Shit Mama. Do you know how to say no? Because it took me years to learn how to say no. Two little letters are so hard. It's a full sentence. No, 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 no. That's all you need to say. But the ability to say no was one, two, at least three years worth of New Year's resolutions for me just to learn how to say no. And I don't know why we tend to say yes when we really want to say no, but I think sometimes it's we feel like we should or, you know, I want to just stay home with kids so I could do this stuff, so I should say yes to everything. Um, maybe you want to be in with that circle of people that are forming that committee or, you know, there's all sorts of reasons. But if you want to learn how to say no, I think in the end, what you really have to do is you have to define your yes. And when I learned this, the clouds just kind of parted and you're like, it's a whole new world of volunteering and spending your time, talent, and treasure on things that matter most to you. So what I mean by defining your yes, for me, it was, I am at this season of my life, I am only doing things directly for my kids, for their school, or things in honor of our son that passed away. That is it. I am not doing anything else for any other organizations at this point in time. And when you define your yes, it makes everything else just kind of trickle away and you don't have to feel guilty or give long drawn out explanations. You just simply say, no, you know, at this stage of my life, I'm just doing things with my kids in the school. And you can even get more specific than that. You can say, I'm only going to be the Homer mom. I'm only going to be a volunteer for the holiday parties. I'm only going to volunteer at the Christmas party or the Halloween party, something like that. You can be very, very specific. And I'm just picking on moms because I think that's a lot of who watches me. But really, this would apply to any stage of your life. Because if you are doing the baby steps, eventually you're going to get to baby step seven, which is give like no one else. And when you do get to that point, you are going to be asked to do a lot of things. And you're going to be asked for money all the time. And you can't give to everything. No matter how wealthy you get, you're, you can't. So you have to define your yes. What are the organizations we are going to support with our time? What are the ones we're going to support with our talent? And what are the ones we're going to support with our treasure? And when you define that and you lay it out, you are going to be so much happier and more fulfilled with the things that you do say yes to. So this school year, I would really encourage you to sit down before you accept any volunteer positions, sit down and really define your yes. Maybe your yes is you will do things for your school as long as they can be done at night. Um, maybe you'll do things for your school as long as it doesn't involve fundraising. Whatever it is for you, define that, write it down, and learning how to say no to everything else becomes crystal clear. Have a great day. Have a great week. I will see you on Sunday if you're following along for the Aldi September only month. Um, or I'll see you next Monday for another video like this. Take care.